Hello guys, hello and welcome back to another episode of FTB Infinity and in today's episode, as I promised, we are going to make the mana farm and you can see I kind of done something, oh, this is not good, I need to replace those blocks. Uh, so I've done some clearing and some extending, so as you can see, it's pretty much good, and I started adding a new floor, and I add those little signs, uh, those are from the um, decor craft, and I think it's kind of look cool, but yeah, right here, uh, I tried something, I crafted a whole bunch of those floating hydro genes and uh, yeah, I find a way how to actually all fill this battle. Uh, if you craft the rod of the sea and use mana tablet, it can actually auto, uh, auto fill those battles, so that's great. And uh, yeah, I prepared something. Wow, that's mess, right? Uh, this is this is the area where we are going to have all those flowers and uh, we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so it means we have 30 in one row so it means 60 uh, with those actually 70 70 flowers and here the same so it's 100, uh, 140, it's 210, and this is 209. So we'll have 209 flowers uh, right here in the setup. Uh, actually, I will then place uh, the flowers on top of those blocks, and then I can break those blocks. So yeah, but there's a problem. We need to fill this area completely with water. So, how we are going to do that? Um, well, I crafted the floodgate from BC Factory and I've got loads of water. But I don't know if when I actually put the floodgate on top, if it fills all the way up, all the way down with the source blocks, because I need to that to be a source block so let's test this together so let's grab some stone right and we want to place it one two three four one two three four one two three four well, i guess we can make it five one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, and the last one. So now I can make this way, uh, way up and then we can take the uh, floodgate, nope, I didn't mean to take that, uh, we can take the floodgate, I believe, and one, two, place it right here, and place drum on top, and hopefully, no, it's not doing anything. So let's take a uh, node. Let's take off this barrel, and I need to turn on my magnet. So, let's take the barrel, and we want to put this away, and we want speed, speed upgrade, I guess 16 will do the job, and st stack upgrade. So now, we can put our drum right here and have it like that 
with the stack and the speed upgrade. Okay, so it's doing something. That's actually good to see. Oh, oh, it's filling up. Yes, it's filling up. Let's actually see if it fills another layer. Oh, it's starting. It's starting to fill another layer. That actually looks promising. It's very good. Okay, so now we can stop this and let's see, we can knock this off. And oh, it actually create, okay, so I can now take a sponge, I've got one. Sponge crafted. So that's that's actually great. So now we know that the floodgate will fill everything with the with um, oh lot of sound. Yeah, you see it was raining and there were sound and now it stopped raining. Yeah, I will show you what what caused that in a moment. I will just repair this. Oh, and I do not have any more. Okay, so we can take this off great and now i can get rid of this this so now we can have a lag right yes uh, so now we can go right here and i should leave some stone with me so now we can go in the middle and go like that. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. No, 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 that was bad. That was actually bad. I have the fail safe off, so let's turn it on and bam, bam. Ooh, someone is messaging me. Great. It's good to see that I still have friends, right? <laughs> okay, so now we can take this off and place the floodgate right here, like so. Okay, and we can connect the drum and this and now stack and speed upgrade so will you actually do the job or not okay so it started and hopefully it won't miss those all those places so let's just wait a moment and see if it fills everything oh, it's starting somewhere right here uh, is it filling up Um, yeah, I guess it's filling up, right, okay, done this block, and now it should do this one, hopefully it will do that, hopefully, okay, done this block, so hopefully it can reach all the way here. Uh, I don't know how the, how the floodgate actually works. Okay, so... Yes, it's filled this block. And... Okay, so now it filled this block. 
I don't know if there's a baron or something for it. So, we want to see more blocks. Okay, it filled up those. And... Great, so now we have all war sources. Yes, and it started another layer. So, great guys. Uh, I will actually wait for this to be done. And, uh, yeah, and by the way, I can show you how I'm going to do those, uh, those things. So, if we knock this off, so now we can place the autonomous activator, great, first slot only, like that, and... We can now go down to it. No, oh, it's right in the corner. So let's knock those two off. We need a test rack to actually power it. So now we have a power. And we can put this right here. And we don't have one configuration and you can see it fills up the petal so that's great and uh, yeah so let's check this bad boy oh it, it actually filled two layers great so I will wait for this to be done and uh, yeah I will be right back and we then can place all those floating hydrogens okay guys so this is slowly filling up but I guess we can start putting in those floating hydrogens so let's start at the bottom and let's place them like so and right here, here and here. Okay, so like that. Nope, not like that. Like that. And nope. It's actually kind of hard to move around when they are actually taking off water sources and they are then filled out again so let's place this like that like that like so and like so so now we should start seeing some mana action actually oh yes right there we can see that so Basically, how this is set up is that we are taking the mana from those flowers. So you can see they have no mana in them. And we are passing it through all those elven things, elven mana spreaders, to this one mana distributor. And from this guy, we have two mana spreaders pointing up into our room for those uh, mana pools and those two those other two are pointing into those mana spreaders and we will actually take this or take those spreaders to pass the mana up in our next room so let's actually place some of those place more of them uh, eventually this will be quite a nice room so we can put those in put those in those and you can actually hear that now the mana spreaders are way too busy 
collecting the mana from those flowers and passing it to another. So I do not have uh, the exact amount of flowers that we can fill in, but it doesn't matter for now. Uh, I will craft a lot more of those in between episodes. Uh, I just wanted to show you how this is going to... Oh, we do not have air. Okay, I guess it doesn't matter. Okay, so we've got all the flowers in place. So let's place another row right here and right here right and we've got few left so yeah actually I won't be able to finish this floor yeah I'm missing the one right here so let's take a look at our mana supply. Oh, it's going up slowly, but it's going up. Great. And I've got some FPS issues right now. Uh, well, I just want to check. Like, this is the middle flower. Yes, it's passing mana. Passing mana. Great. Oh my god, this... This is actually quite a FPS killer. All those water blocks being taken and replaced. Oh, that's that's a FPS killer. Uh, let's see if we go out from here. Yeah, the FPS are way up. So, I will actually finish this whole room with the hydrogen flowers or whatever they are called. And then we will move on with this room because in this room uh, we need those uh who they called them those runic altars yes those runic altars and we need a lot of those alchemic catalysts so uh, we can now make those runes and uh, one thing that we need to create is the elven portal so i will finish the room and I will be right back. Alright guys, so... Yes, no water. No water here. And uh, it's because this setup was good. Was quite good. It produces quite a lot of mana actually. Uh, in like in one hour. We've got pretty much like a lot of mana. But it was too laggy, too much laggy, and uh, yeah, the server couldn't keep up with this setup with all the water source blows, blocks replacing and, uh, you know, being drained again. Uh, it wasn't good, it wasn't good. So, I actually decided to use something else, and as you can see right now, I'm creating a new flower and probably you can't see it right here maybe a little just a little bit um because it all it's all picked by this chest and yeah this is kind of cool setup how to automate the process i tried that with the um with the steve's factory manager i even tried the servos and uh this with the thermal dynamics uh, stuff but it just seems like there's no way how to automate that but then I came across those this BC transport and you can set the filter and this filter what it does it actually do not look into the chest but the filter look into itself and see those items right here so it will go through each item right here 
and pull it from the chest. And the great stuff about this is that if I would remove some of those ingredients and there were something missing in the chain, this would stop. So it wouldn't lag or bug up our battle, but it would stop. So right now I will show you what flowers I'm creating. Yes, I'm creating the end of flame. And the end of flame is a kind of neat uh, flower because it eats fuel and it's generating mana. So let's let's just test it out. Uh, I will create those floating ones and I will put them right here. Let's uh, do not turn my magnet off. Not now. So uh, now we can have one, two, three, four, like so. It's not in the middle. That's not good. So like this. And if we would be about to, let's say, give them blaze rods. Right there. It would consume those blaze rods. You can see it. Those little particle effects. It's now consuming the blaze rods. And as you can see, it's pretty quick. Yeah, it's pretty good. And uh, I need to do some testing with those. But you can see that our man mana pools are actually going up. So with those end of flames we can have like multiple of them like that and they will all suck those blaze rods in and they will produce mana so that's great and it's much more server friendly. Oh they've got a bridge good range that's good so yeah uh, they are pretty much server friendly and you can see even our mana sprayers cannot keep up it's so so amazing so Yeah, our mana spreaders cannot even keep up with the endo flames. So I might consider. Oh, it generated a lot of mana just like in a while. That's great. So we we've seen this pool, and look at that little blue indicator. Oh, I guess this this one didn't go up too much, but still, uh, this is pretty good source of mana actually. So, yeah, uh, we'll be using those endo flames, and uh, by the way, I forgot to show you what does the sound, the noisy sound it's this thing because i was um uh, i actually didn't like when it rained because the rain like a lot in this world so i add this weather controller and it actually consume only emeralds and when this have a um the redstone signal applied it will actually turn off the rain so that's actually pretty cool and this is just the rain sensor that uh, provide this thing with the redstone signal. So yeah, that's actually pretty cool. So let's 
pop back down here. Oh, they consumed it all? Really? Um, let's take another blaze rod because I, I'm not sure if they will start producing the mana again. Oh, they started. Because in the Lexica Botania, it actually says where it is. Um, and nope. Oh, 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 generation flora and the end of flame. Uh, the end of flame does that exactly. It will absorb and um, blah 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 uh, and burn them through. Yeah, there's a small end of flame will not burn anything that returns a byproduct. Uh, yeah, open crate which you read about on the okay. So I read somewhere when those flowers actually stop producing the mana and they have n nothing to consume they will actually go like into ill mode and they will wait for something and i don't know if this is true or not but uh, I'm not sure. I'm really not sure if this is the case or not. Oh, and I can add. I can add actually a lot more of those flowers. That's great. That's actually pretty great. But I need to figure out the way how to sack the mana from here. Oh, we do not have blaze rods again. So let's drop another stack in there. And I guess I can do something with a redstone. Oh, they are sec sucking it still from here. That's quite a cool. That's quite a cool. Yeah, so... Oh my god, 8 left? Like, for real? That's... That's amazing. That's quite amazing. Let's... Pop here 2 stacks. Okay? So I need to figure out a good way how to actually put those flowers together and oh it went up just a little but it did that's awesome oh this is going much more faster because we are feeding in two of them oh and this end Great, so we've got two more stacks of those end of flames. So I need to figure out the optimal way how to actually have those <laughs> mana sprayers and everything else. Oh baby, this is this is full, like completely full. Those flowers are completely full oh this one is doing something this one is completely full oh my god i do not have enough do not have enough of those mana spreaders that's amazing so i need to come up with some good way how to actually do this all whole mana thing and i will be right back 
Alright guys, so I guess I found found a way how to distribute those blaze rods and it's not the most efficient way, I guess, but it's kind of cool looking way. Oh what just happened? Alright guys, so the server shut down for some no reasons. Uh, at least I don't know reason for it to be shut it down, but whatever. So we've got this uh, transportation system, and it seems like this actually keeps up. As you can see, there are few blaze rods on the ground, so it means that we have just right amount of those blaze rods here and that's actually good because we want that yeah you can see it's popping other other blaze rods uh, I might put some golden transfer pipe because they accelerate the items but I think it's not necessary. Well, oh my god, just take a look at this. How much mana we are actually producing. This is insane. This is really insane. And we even started to produce for those two. That's great because as you can see this mana pool is full. This one is almost full. Oh yeah. So this actually produce a quite a lot amount of mana. So that's great and it doesn't cause an lag. It doesn't cause much FPS issues but yeah, it's very good and the better new is that we have a space right here. So what we could do, we could actually build some automation right here. Because I wanted to do this room, I want this room to be just like a showing off room and it won't be for any particular reason i won't be doing any crafting here whatsoever and this room will be for another it will actually be another room like this one just to show off all the things that you can do in botania but this is not much good way how to automate everything and as you can see we've got mana automation that's great and uh, of course I need to replace this chest with the um, with the ender chest with a blaze rod or maybe I could even hook up our system somewhere here and I guess that would be even better. So let's let's go to our base room. Oh nope. And let's take the quantum link chamber and this quantum ring. And let's see. We've got. I guess some of those two are actually available. White two is available. White two, okay, so in the white one we should. Okay, so I don't know where's the white one. It's definitely not here. I'm not sure where it is. But we can take the white cable 
let's okay we can go back to Britannia room and we can now take the white cable like that and maybe some dense cables and I do not have um, crafting terminal right so now what we can do let's just take uh, the what they are called uh, dense energy cell great oh the sound again the sound again and I guess right here is the middle so let's make quantum ring like that it should have power mm, or not can i actually take it with this wrench no i cannot so let's take out our emmy wrench Yep, and let's put this dense cell right here. So now it should be connected. Great, so if we take cable from it, put it right here. <clears throat> yes, we can see all this. So... Uh, Wait, a uh, smart cable, and we want white one. So let's take about the stack. And first of all, we need to connect the PTP tunnel. So let's <clears throat> take a PTP tunnel. and put it right here and now we can go to base room we can take our memory card oh it's loading it's loading slowly and we've got white too this is the light gray I guess we want the cyan. So save settings. Martinia. Okay, so. Oh. Now loaded settings. Right. And we've got the cyan. That's right. So we can knock this off with the sun cable right here and we can now have oh the sun smart cable yes you can take the sun smart cable and interface like so and we can put down the interface the sun cable into it and we can now put the blaze rods in yes great so now it's all all time supplied with the blaze rods great and we now can have the ME system right here so if I would take uh, this out and let's say we want to have 
um, the controller. Maybe right here. So we can now take the smart cable and run it like that. Okay. So like that and now we can take it all the way up. Like so. And now we can put our crafting term terminal right here and if I need another Crafting terminal, let's or like 10. Oh, it was like instant. Great. And now we can make the facades with those blocks. Bam, like so. And we can put the facades on it. Great. And we can do the same thing right here, or I guess we can leave this open just because, uh, let's say, we want to do it like that, and like that, just to see where the cable actually is. So. That's great, we've got our ME system connected, but I was thinking like, what if I want uh, some flowers? Well, uh, I can maybe do a separ separate um, system somewhere around here, just to store the items, just to store them. So maybe that would be a thing, but that would be a thing for another episode, not for today's episode. So, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like or comment or something. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed that. And thanks for watching. See you next time.